In the previous video, we covered how to create objects using Excel Draw. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to work with the layers. Before I get started, there's going to be a little bar like right here. You can probably see it right there. It's going to show up and it's going to tell you what's going to be happening in that section. So if you need to skip to a specific section, that's available to you. Inside of Excel Draw, you can change the layers by going up to the very top inside of the Excel Draw tab, go to layers, and you can select whichever layer that you are currently going to be working on. Now, whenever you change the layer, let's say we're at layer zero, and whatever objects you create, it's going to go into layer zero. I'm going to have layer zero selected, and I'm going to go ahead and select my windows, borders, and walls. And then I'm just going to make sure that Z value is not included and click Smart Create. Now that we have the borders done, I'm going to go ahead and change this to layer one. And now we're going to go down and we are going to create the doors and the arches for the doors. Now, the next thing we're going to create is going to be the circles. Now, I only have one circle here. I'm going to change this to layer two. And what this is, this is just a table that I put in the middle of the floor plan. So table right there. And then finally we have the text and I'm going to go ahead, put the text down at layer three. And something that I wanted to show off is you can actually have all of your text be linked in a cell and use a formula for that. So it's very easy to say, if you want to adjust the text size, you can just go down to one area, change it and I'll change it for all of it. And I think that's pretty handy to do with text objects. I'm going to go ahead, select all this and I'm going to hit text. And as you can see, we now have our floor plan with the text laid out in it. So we've already went through, we created a floor plan with multiple layers with different objects on different layers. The first thing we're going to look at is layer coloring. So you can actually color your layers based on objects like we have by default, or if you select layer coloring, it will go ahead and color the layers based on the layers that they're on. If you would like to do custom colors with the layers, go up to layer colors. And the coloring scheme in Excel Draw is set up based on objects. So layer zero, the object color is going to be a line, or we can change that to a rectangle. We can change that to really anything that we want it to be. And let's say that we want layer one to be the same color as an arc. I can go ahead and hit save and it should go through and update the drawing for us. And as you can see, we now have layer zero in the color of an arc. But what if we don't like that color of an arc or we just want to have a custom color? You can go to adjust object color and this brings up a new window where you can change this to be whatever color that you want it to be. So let's change this to a, uh, I don't know, a brown like that. We can go ahead and hit change. It'll update the arc color and it'll update the drawing as well. The next option that we're going to look at is the view layer. So if you have a layer selected, say for instance, layer two, and you only want to see that layer, all you have to do is click view layer and it will hide all the other layers except for layer two. So layer one, change that. And let's say view layer. And as you can see, we now just see layer one. The next option is changing the names of the layers. So if you see here, you see this little layer icon and the name. If we click on the name, you can see that you can have two different sets of names that you can name your layers. Now what this is, this window will allow you to change the default layer names and the current worksheet layer names. So the default layer names are just going to be zero through nine. And if you want to change this to anything at all, what the default layers name mean is whenever you change this, if you create a new Excel document or a new drawing or a new sheet, these are going to be the names that are given to every new drawing that you create. However, let's say that you just need to change the names of this one drawing on this one worksheet. 
you can go in and you can change these names to be whatever you want to be and it would only affect this one worksheet or this drawing. Now the final thing that I want to look at inside of the layers options is going to be the object manager. Now the object manager is available up here at the top next to the 3D graph orientation. If we open that up it's going to come up with a long list of all of our objects as well as the layers associated with it. You will also notice that the graph changes to a blue. That is because whenever it loads in all the objects, you can go in and select a specific object that you created and it will highlight it on the drawing and turn it into a different color so it's easier to see. Simply put, these names are the objects. And the one that we're focused on in this video is this number that is off to the side after you see the name of the page or the name of the sheet three letters and then a number. That number represents what layer it is currently on. And if you want to hide different layers, say for instance, you don't want to see layer zero, we can just deselect layer zero over here and all of the ones with the zero in it or layer zero will be hidden. It'll also be updated on the drawing itself. If you want to change these layers as in move them from one layer to another layer how you do that is you select the objects that you want to change so for instance i want to change all of the text from layer three and i'm going to move those to layer four how you do that is you select the objects that you want go over here to this little drop down menu and you can change this to a different layer number so just change this to layer four and hit change layer and it will loop through and it'll change all of these to that layer. Now, thankfully this video hasn't been as long as our previous video. If you would like to try out Excel Draw for yourself, the link is in the description down below. I've also had it peppered throughout this video in either one of these corners. I don't know which one it's gonna show up on, but if you'd like to try it out for yourself, click those links, link down in the description. If you have any questions for us, please let us know and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you all very much. Until next time, have a great rest of your day.